yo so now that i'm done with the product page design the next thing i'm going to do is to design the deep in and that's going to be pretty easy because i've already designed a page for my product what i'm just going to do is just to duplicate this particular page i'll click on duplicate so once i duplicate this so i already have um, the background and everything so i don't really necessarily need to do much of design again I'm going to repeat this as deep insight, rename this as deep insight. Then I'm going to get rid of some things here. So like this pictures, I don't need it again. I just need a, uh, probably like a, a, a blank um, page to be able to work with. So I'm going to get rid of some things here. Uh, this one. And also remove this now that i have this i think i can need some bars here so i'm going to leave this guy so i'll be able to kind of work with um, uh, what i want to do so one thing i want to do is to change this slicer here i think uh, the slicer i have here is retailer so i want to use the sales method instead and uh, this time around so i'm going to switch this to a sales method and remove the retailer um, slicer and this time around i'm going to switch on the title for this one so i can see the title so I think that, no, no, not the style too. I mean the styles are here. So I can see this is a sales method. Sales method is right here at the top here. And then another thing I would probably like to do as well is to add some cards to this um, visual. So I'm going to start with the new card, this new card visual. And the first thing I would like to add there is my total sales. So I'll go to my anchor measure and select my total sales. So once I have my total sales here, I'll kind of clean this chart up a little bit. So I'll go to my um, format pane right here. Then I'm going to change the, uh, I'm going to go to call out and I'm going to change the color of the call out to uh, my blue color and then reduce the size of this to probably something like um, maybe 25. All right, I think a 25 should be fine. Then I'm going to go to label as well and reduce the label to like 11. Um, I'm also going to go to um, my card here and switch on the ascent bar. So for the ascent bar, I will just change the color of the ascent bar to blue. Another interesting things you can actually do with this uh, new card visual is you can even change the shape, how you want the shape to interact. So for me, I can even do this snip tap boot so what i'm going to do is i'm going to switch on this customized style and then i'll just make the top the top left corner to cough a little bit like this and also the top the bottom right corner which is this side so it's it's something like um, something like this so you can see both of them kind of bend right so i can do that for both like this but I think this one is uh, a little bit too much. So let me make it the same size, 24, 24. Okay, that's great. Then I can come here and switch off the background from effect. I don't really want the background. Now, this also have a few colors. So I can make this few color a little bit blurry inside this um, this uh, page. So if I go to fill, few color here. And um, this white is fine. But I think I have my own special white. So I'm going to copy the code for my special white. So this is the special white color that I have. I'm going to copy it and click on more color and paste it here. Then that is my home white. And I'm going to re reduce the transparency or increase the transparency I mean, to something like um, maybe 50 should be fine or probably a 38. I think a 38 to look nice. And then I also like to uh, probably reduce it very well and put it somewhere at the top here. I think it's still big, so let me reduce it a bit more because I wanted to kind of um, take this uh, page. Uh, let me reduce it. I think this is still big, so probably I should reduce the size of the, the call out. I'm going to reduce the size to a 20. Yeah, I think a 20 is fine. And um, right now, I'm going to also add an icon. So you can go to um, under your 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 cards. Under your cards, you will see 
let me just minimize all this so you see image so you switch it on and then you select browse and pick from your image so for me i have the cost resources here so i'm just going to pick um, any of the image of my choice so probably i should pick this one for the total sales and i think i need to reduce the size of that image so i can make it something like um, a 20 or a 30 something i think a 38 or a 30 a 36 makes sense so i think a 36 makes sense so you can have it like this this is okay so, so once you're done i think the next thing is just to duplicate this because i want to have four of this card so i don't need to redesign the rest i can just duplicate um, this one let me carry it to the right and just do another one and carry it to the right then one thing another tip i'm going to give you is don't adjust card manually always use this alignment so i'll say align to the top and also distribute horizontally so that way i'm sure that they are all well distributed okay so i have this four card the next thing is to change the values inside here so here i don't need total sales i need another thing so i'm going to change this from total sales to what should i put here unit sold so let me just put unit sold um total unit sold and i'm going to use another type of um, icon for this so I'm, i'll go back to cards image you have to change this icon from this one to um this one all right then i move to the next one the next one i think i should use like um, an operating profit here so let's use profit here so i'll remove this and i'll put my profit in here and i'm also going to change the the card the 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 image from uh, what i have here to some things that really depict profits like money so yeah let me use this one i think my profit is not showing perfectly so let me format it well I'm going to click here and select two decimal points so it's showing two decimal only so that that's easy to read all right so the next thing i'm going to add is my transaction count there's not many transactions we have as well so i'm going to replace total sales with transaction count here and i'm also going to change the icon for that so we'll go to card image switch this off select browse and then take another type of image so let me pick this one all right so all my cards are set i have all my cards set all my cards are set so the next thing i want to do is to kind of have some um, chart below this so uh, i may actually start with this design that i already have here so i can even start with this one i don't need this this one here too so i can get rid of it so this one that I have here, I can walk around with it to make it look like what I want. Since I've already added some white background to this, so I think it makes sense to add a little bit of background to this as well. I'll go to my general effect, add background. I'll use this, my white color, and I will increase the transparencies to, um, I think a, a 60 is fine. A 60 should be okay. Uh, then i'm going to change uh, the the details i have here so i'm not going to use this method now i'm going to use retailer so i have retailer here like this probably i should make it a little bit bigger all right so i'm just designing that some people prefer powerpoint to actually create a wireframe which make a lot of sense but you can as well do that in power bi in case you don't have time to go to powerpoint design separately and come back here and design separately so once i have this i can actually duplicate this so i can repeat this down here but i think there's actually no space so if i reduce this a bit like this i need to also reduce the others. so the way you do that is you go to general properties you see height 253 so i also need to make this height also 253 so they are all the same size 253 so that way i am sure that um, i have the same size the same size then also uh probably i should duplicate this again but i think this white is too blurry so let me kind of increase the transparency a little bit so it shows more so maybe i should do like uh, 40 40 yep so let me do 40 
so 40 40 yep great so the next thing i'm going to do is to probably duplicate this uh again uh and put it here duplicate this again and put it here you can see this is kind of easy now because i have a structure so the next thing is to now change all the charts i have inside all these duplicated um charts so for this one down here i think i'm going to basically have region there so let me remove retailer and go to my location and select region and that's going to be region by um, sales right but i'm going to change the title of this later so probably i should just i need to change the title of all of them so but let me start with this one so this is um, um total sales by sales by by region all right this is sales by region region and let me reduce the size of this i think i think it's too big i don't need to board it so sales by region and this is sales by retailer i'm going to go to title and say sales by the retailers all right sales by retailers reduce the size of this to 12 as well uh, 11 i think I, 11 is fine i did 11 for this as well yep 11 so i have these two charts so the next one is i want to do a total sales by product so i'm going to go here and then um, unselect my retailer and select product instead so i have product here so you can select product like this then i have my sales by uh, product so let me go and change my title as well to sales by um, product product and i need to reduce this to 11. okay so that looks like it then this one as well i'm going to probably change this also from retailer to region again and then this time i'm not going to do sales so i'm going to do total transactions so let's see our transactions by region so total transactions by region so let me go to my title and also change this to um total transactions by region total transaction by region reduce this to 11 okay so I, I i basically have um um four charts now i may also want to add like another chart to this side um so what i'm going to do is to copy and duplicate this here so and adjust this like this and this time around i want a shape visual and this shape i want um, uh, state in here so i'm going to select state so i have uh, something like this i'm going to change the color of the fill color to my blue color so it all blends together and that is it so here now i have i'm going to change the title to uh, sales by sales by state okay so this is my sales by state and uh, i should do a line chart below this so let me duplicate this again and change this into a line chart and um, i'm going to remove state from here and then i'm going to put my date from my d calendar so i'll put in date here so okay so let me use um, uh, the other line chart which is the area chart i think that kind of make more sense so i'm going to put the area chart in here i'm going to do a little bit of formatting to this so i'll go to my x-axis i'll remove the title and then i'll also go to my y axis i'll remove the title then i'll go to my uh, grid lines i'm going to switch grid lines off both vertical and then um, horizontal grid lines then the line i'm going to change the color of the line to the blue color i've been using and also the the um the 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 series label so probably i should add the label to the series but maybe i don't need that uh, i may also want to add a marker if i want to marker will just give it like a bit of marker so you may want to add that if you wish so another thing is you can even reduce the size of the marker so it's make a lot of sense make more sense like that and then you can even change the shape of the marker if you want to some people like to change the shape of the marker just a little bit of um um, the sign then the line, linear tab you can also change it to smooth so that line is a little bit of smooth very smooth 
then for the shade area i can blur it a little bit so it doesn't really um so yeah something like this all right so i think i have my um deep inside page probably i should reduce this guy i'll bring it back so i'll be able to select the line so i'll move it to deep inside and then i'll select this back and make it big again and that's it so you know that i'm on deep inside all right so let's create the second page you can always click this and then everything is changing everything is changing one thing i may also want to add is probably if you want to add like change your power here to all this cards here at the top here you can as well add it because i already have them so i'll just click a, 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 a shape visual a card visual here and come to total sales i have my variance i'll go to my variance and say month or month for sales month or month for sales which is this one i'll switch up the category label I'll reduce the size to like 20 and I'll switch off the background and I'll make it very very small and put it here all right I'll put it here but one thing I can also do so that this will be a little bit faster because I've done some conditional formatting to the one I have in my product page here so I can as well want to copy this one okay I can just want to copy it and and just paste it here so that way I don't have to do a new conditional format because the conditional formatting has been done on this one so let me just reduce the size to something like 15 or 14 right and i'll make it a little bit smaller and put it here put it here and i will just copy and paste ctrl c ctrl v come to uh total unit sold change this to unit sold month to month unit sold month to month that way to maintain the formatting i also copy and paste put this one here change this to profit month to month it also maintain the formatting there but i think i need to change this one to um, percentage all right great so copy again ctrl c ctrl v and put something here put it here and change this to transaction count month to month so i think i have a measure for that here transaction count month to month and also change this transaction count to percentages great then i need to add a title to it so i can go to my insert uh, text box and i will just say change to pre uh greater than pm so that's like a change i just use that as a sign for change to prior month so let me switch off the background for this and then reduce the size very well and take it here so i'm just going to put it here so i'm going to copy and paste put the next one here copy and paste put it here copy and paste and then put it here okay so this shows my change to um previous month and i'm as i'm selecting the this is i can click on this 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 no no not this uh this and this and go to format align top align top so that that way it's it's, it's very aligned everywhere so i can do the same thing for uh, this one too so this 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 I'll go to format and align top. All right. So now we everything is well aligned, and um, I think that's it.